Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to make a card using the basic grey um, cup of tea stamp set that I bought at my local scrapbook store months ago and never got around to using. So it's just a clear polymer set and I've decided to use teapot image and one of the sentiments. Stamp the teapot in Cameo Coral ink by Stampin' Up. Um, I think this color was retired when they reconfigured all the colors. I'm not 100% positive, but anyway. I'm stamping it onto CC Designs Copic Quality cardstock. So I'm planning on coloring it in with Copic markers just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. So I'm going to do that right now. And the colors I chose are R05, um, R02, and R00. And contrary to what I usually do, I'm starting with the darkest and working my way to the lightest just because, I don't know, that's what I'm in the mood for today. Okay, so you can see that gave it a fair bit more depth and dimension than just the plain stamped image. And then now I'm going to go in and just add a bit more um, shading and whatnot with W3, W1, and W00. And again I'm starting with the darkest. I'm going to use one of my Nestabilities dies and I'm going to cut this out so I will be right back. Okay, so I've cut the image out with the Nestabilities die, and now it's on to making the actual card front. This is just craft cardstock. I had it sitting on my desk from um, a previous project, so I thought it would work with these colors. Um, I'd also already chosen to use the Nook and Pantry um, paper pad from Basic Grey. So I just want to add a few strips of pattern paper. Yeah, I guess I will use these ones. So let's set that aside for a minute. Um, I also want to use my Martha Stewart Scallop Lace Punch because I thought that was kind of fitting with just the theme of the card. So, clear a spot for this. I really like this punch. I just, I don't like what a mess it makes when you actually punch it out. But it looks so nice, so. I use it and just try and get all the scraps and whatnot brushed away into your garbage. So I've got that piece and I know I want it to be, just kind of eyeball it about that wide. So I'll just make a mark with my fingernail and then just cut it with my paper cutter. There we go. Then I want to do the same thing with this piece. Um, Go use that area of it. And I want that much of it. And I want this piece to kind of overlap so it's not all strictly uniform. So again, I'm just going to notch it with my fingernail and cut it with my paper cutter. There we go. And then last but not least, I'm going to do the same thing with the last piece. And this one I already kind of know how wide I want it, so I'll just slice off the piece and then figure out how I want it. And like that. Alrighty. I want the sentiment in some way. Stick that to a block. Um, I think I'll use the sentiment 
on some of the pattern paper. Okay, I chose this kind of lace doily style pattern paper for the sentiment. I thought it was kind of fitting. Um, and I'm just using Memento Rich Cocoa Ink to ink up the sentiment. And I find the Memento inks don't beat up as much as just regular dye based inks do. So I'm just going to stamp that just like so. And then rather than cutting it out as a square or a circle, I think I want to make it a little more, give it a little more definition. So I'm going to use one of my labels for dies. Yep, yeah, I'm going to use one of those. And I'm also going to gently tape it into place so that it doesn't shift when I run this through the cuddle bug. So again, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cut this piece out. And I don't care that I've taped it on here because I'm going to be cutting off. Yeah, I'm going to cut off a good chunk of it anyway. There we go. So, something like that and something like that. So the easiest way to do this would be using my ATG gun I'm going to adhere all the strips of pattern paper together. And then last but not least I will add sentiment. But to make sure I get it where I want it, I need to line up pattern paper and the main image and then slide the sentiment under to make sure I've got it just like that. And then now I can adhere this whole panel. There we go. And of course I need some ribbon wherever I there it is. Um this is just oh it's groovy guava ribbon from Stampin' Up. This was retired forever ago. Um it was one of the in colors, but again I keep all my retired colors and whatnot for the most part because you never knew when you're going to match something new. And again, I'm going to speed up this part. Um, I'll post a link right here with um, a link to my video showing how I tie knots and bows and whatnot. Okay, well now that's all that's left to do is adhere the main image, which I think I'm going to do with dimensionals just to make it stand out a little more. There we go. So now I just want to adhere that to my card front, which I had already cut out. And there you have it a quick and simple card using the basic gray cup of tea set. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye!